Good morning. It is Tuesday morning in December. We're getting very Christmassy here at the craft barn. And so much so that I have been packing up all of the Betwixtmas kits. Now this is the Betwixtmas shawl. This is one of them. We've had it made up in two colours so far. This is... Can't remember. Might be sand. Might be platinum actually. I think it's platinum. Um, there are eight colours of the King Cole Natural Alpaca DK. Um, it is a natural alpaca, it hasn't been dyed, that's why the shades are quite sort of muted and so on. But this is the shawl which I absolutely love and I can't wait to cast it on. And this is the kit which I was, um, you may have seen the video that Amy put up there yesterday. Ah, rocking around the Christmas tree at the Christmas time. Oh, um, thanks Amy. Yeah, the kids thought that was really funny last night. If you're singing Christmas carols, I'm doing the kids. We didn't stage that, promise you, I'm a really, really big Christmas freak. And I love Christmas music. And in December, I love the opportunity to uh, listen to Christmas. Because you can't listen to it in January, can you? So yeah, that was me with my Christmas thing. And I made up lots of these, so I've got lots more to make. So this is the kit. It um, comes in a recycled paper bag, which can also then be recycled again. And um, with that little black sheep sticker on, look, we have little Barbara with a hat, which is really, really sweet, a little bit of holly. Um, they're possibly not quite as sticky as I'd like, the stickers, so I apologise if your sticker's not stuck. Um, I am now going over some of them with sellotape. So, in the bag, this is what comes in the bag. This has all been packaged by my fair hand. So, you have the postcard giving you information about the Betwixtmas shawl. A little bit of meet the designer on the back, Carol Meldrum, who we really, really love. Um, she is a fabulous, fabulous designer. Does loads of workshops for us. We always enjoy it when Carol's in. A uh, little bit about why we do the Betwixtmas and, you know, it is, I say, I am a Christmas freak. I love the time in between Christmas and New Year and we call it Betwixtmas and this is the perfect project. So you will see we have a little um, sheep stitch marker made by Fripperies and Bivalot um, tied on with a little cute little bow. I tied that myself. Yeah, so check my bow making skills. Um, so you get that. You get a beautiful printed copy of the pattern with our lovely Miriam on the front there modelling it in her. You can always tell Miriam because there was a rainbow somewhere around her. Um, so this is the pattern. And then on the back, my favourite Christmas poem that me and the kids will read on Christmas Eve. It starts to get all emotional about Christmas Eve now. Visit from St Nicholas, but you might just notice twas the night before Christmas, which is what we tend to know as in our house. It's not the whole poem because it's pages long and when I showed it to Amy and said, can we put this on the back of the pattern? She went, oh, it's really big. So it is really big, so it's not the whole poem, but it is most of it. I will be reading the poem before I cast on. It won't be a live reading. They've not persuaded me to do that yet. But so maybe you want to do the same to get yourself full of the Christmas spirit. So that's the pattern. And thanks to Amy for the design and all that pattern. So that is fab. Um, and then this is look, a little snowflake tissue paper. Um, we have got some sellotape on. I did try and think of a way of doing it without the sellotape. It's impossible. Unless I covered it all in loads of stickers. So slight bit of sellotape. I'm afraid. Look. Little Barbara's there again. <laughs> Unwrapping. <gasps> and then look. Three beautiful, beautiful, beautiful hands of the just ever so soft natural alpaca. Um, I know you can't feel this through the screen, but I promise you it is really, really, really soft. It's not an irritating alpaca. I wear contact lenses. Sometimes I knit with yarns that start to irritate my eyes and get fibre stuck. I have tried this one and it doesn't. Um, so this is how it comes in three gorgeous skeins. You will need to wind those into balls later. We will be doing a, a winding video later this week. Um, so we will show you how to do that. But it is, in fact, let me show, it is as easy as you can even just do on an up, upturned table legs. Um, but yeah, we'll be showing you how we're gonna wind ours. Um, and this, I think, is the color that I'm gonna do as well. This is sand. Um, so that, I mean, isn't that just absolutely gorgeous? 